Hello, and welcome to the collaboration tool with Word Online for ContractPod AI. To demonstrate the Word Online collaboration, I'm going to invite to collaborate. I'll select a user from the user list. Uh, you can also enter external user emails as well. So here I have my permissions, and then I can see Jacqueline's permissions. So she has the ability to save, receive no notification, and AI unlock. If I disable any of these, then she'll remove that permission. But for now, we'll just include all the permissions. So I will start collaboration in Word. And so Jacqueline will get a email notification letting her know that she has been invited to collaborate. And I will see that the collaboration will open in Word Online. So here is Word Online. Um, some of the features that I'd like to point out is that this does have most of the features that Word has. Um, it has all of the Word Online features. So this is better for table formatting, uh, documents that have multiple columns. Those kinds of features are uh, upheld with Word Online or WAPI. Um, but yeah, so let's wait a second and let Jacqueline join the collaboration, and then I can show you how the collaboration works. Another piece to note is that with Word Online, we do have to add, change the uh, settings to reviewing. Once it's changed once, it's changed for everyone so that um, the track changes is enabled. So if I go in and I say this should be January 15th, 2023, then you see those track changes there. And we can see Jacqueline has joined the collaboration and she can make some changes and it'll show me those changes on her screen. So she's put 315 and put Main Street. So now I can see these changes. You can click to view suggestions, which it shows me that she has replaced Abbey Road with Main Street. I can accept this, um, and that keeps the change. So that's the basics of the collaboration. Um, like I said, you have the abilities for formatting and bulleting and all the things that um, you would want to retain in a document, uh, which makes it a better option uh, for clients that have a Microsoft 365 account. Um, so then I'm going to go ahead and lock this collaboration. So I'll go back to Contract Pod. I'm going to click Lock Collaboration, click OK. And then once it loads, it will show me the new version created based on the lock collaboration. So let me refresh the page. And in the versions tab, we have this new version. Thank you and have a great day.